there are other ways that, you know, we traditionally use um, cytology or the pap smear, which is the collection of cells from the surface of the, of the cervix for analysis. There are also um, HPV tests that are now available. All cervix cancer is actually related to HPV and is caused by a subset of some of the HPV types. Now, not everybody who has an HPV infection goes on to develop cervix cancer, but it is another important testing tool that we do now have over the last several years. That can be done, most often it's done in conjunction with the pap smear test and the cytology test, and in some patients that can be done as either a, um, what we call reflex testing, so that if the pap smear is slightly abnormal, we then send it automatically for HPV testing and then proceed based on those results. And in some women, only women over age 30, we can actually co-test them with HPV testing and pap smears. Okay, maybe you could talk a little bit more about what happens when an abnormal Sure, sure, sure. So when an abnormal test comes back, what the what your doctor gets is a result based on the cytologist who looks at the cells under the pap smear. And once that comes back, it can come back in several different categories. And those categories are used to further triage the patient as to what they would need. Whether they would need just repeat pap smear in six months to a year, whether or not, you know, the test is completely normal, whether or not they need other types of of workup. Now if there's a test that's abnormal and suggestive of sort of a higher degree of abnormal cells, patients actually get referred to a gynecologist um, or a GYN oncologist, depending on how severe it is, for a test called colposcopy, which is a more directed, um, focused view of the cervix and possible local biopsies. And if it is found to be cancerous. Right, so then again, the biopsies may lead to further um, tests if it is cancerous or sort of precancerous to a higher degree. Sometimes that can be, there's a, um, a procedure that we do which is sort of a biopsy of the cervix which is larger, which can sometimes treat early cancers or precancers. If an invasive cancer is found, then they should be recommended to see a GYN oncologist for further. Um, for further um, delineation of their stage of their cancer and then the appropriate treatment. Mm -hmm. And how is cervical cancer treated? The treatment for cervix cancer depends on the stage of the cancer. There are some women who are, have a very early stage cancer with very strict requirements who can be um, treated with fertility sparing options. The majority of women will either undergo some form of hysterectomy or if the more advanced will have a combination of chemotherapy and radiation.